Hello everyone! In today's video, we're gonna be doing a tutorial on how to build and fly a Starship and Super Heavy in KSP. We're gonna be starting the video inside of the vehicle assembly building, where I'm going to show you how to construct the two craft, and then we're gonna head out to the launch pad, and I'm gonna demonstrate a launch to orbit of the full stack. After that, I'm going to be showing you how to land the Super Heavy booster, and then finally, I'm going to show you how to bring the Starship all the way down from orbit for a very nice, precise landing on top. Of of the vehicle assembly building. So let's get straight into the build. So like I said, we're starting off in the vehicle assembly building and we are going to be start by constructing the starship. Um, for time's sake, this footage is slightly sped up. Uh, if you do want to um, get the real footage, uh, the real time speed, you could slow this video down to 50% uh, speed if you want, but I think you can still get a pretty good grasp of, or a pretty good understanding rather, of what, what is happening uh, in the video, even though it's sped up. Um, Starship, uh, it, it's, it's quite a complicated design. It takes a long time to build, so just, just so this isn't like an hour-long video, I did kind of speed it up and cut out a lot of the, the parts that aren't like totally, not necessary, but the parts like where I made a mistake and I had to like remake something. Obviously, you'd assume I'd cut that out, right? So, we're going to start out by building uh, the two fairings, and I, uh, we the starship needs to be around five meters, so that's why I use that five meter part as a reference. So the two fairings are just so you have a nice little, you don't have a big gap. Um, my old starship, this is like a version two, um, my old starship kind of sucked, um, at least in my opinion. It's my most popular video though, my first starship tutorial, but hey, let's see if we can improve on that, right? Uh, I didn't even do a super heavy for that, so uh, yeah. So, uh, so a uh, quick thing to note: uh, if you want to close that bottom fairing, you know how you made the little engine skirt where the fairing kind of ends. You have to hit Alt and then left click uh, to close the fairing like that. And I'm going to go ahead and put our engines on like so. You want to make sure you have an engine pattern that actually mirrors mine. The three engines, uh, the three vectors. You want you want all the vectors to be pointing at like 90 degree angles. If you know what that may, you know that means. I don't know if that makes sense, but uh, that's that's kind of what you have. To, it's hard to explain. You'll see what I mean later. So uh, now we're going to go ahead and actually build up the full height of the starship. Um, it's, it, generally, you want to build it as tall as you think is probably right. I don't know. I don't really have a definitive number that looks the best uh, in terms of height, but uh, I generally just go with a few like about. I, I make my starships around 30 meters tall. Uh, and then uh, the nose cone is a very difficult part. It took me a few tries to get the nose cone, and then, you know, just go whatever nose cone you think looks best. I think this looks fairly okay uh, as a Starship nose cone, so I'm just going to go ahead and go with that, and then we can continue on. Obviously, making sure to make the fill with blah, fairings, I can't speak, silver, um, because, you know, Starship, right? Um, the fairings being silver, I believe uh, you need to be 1.11 to do it. Uh, or 1.10 rather, so if you are not in 1.10, you may not be able to get those silver fairings. Also, both DLCs are totally required for this, uh, because you need them uh, to get, uh, first of all, the Wolfhound engines and uh, the flaps to move. Um, so yeah, but definitely both DLCs required, and there we go. Starting to put the two main fuel tanks on of the Starship, and now the uh, command pod. Command pod, the command module, and then batteries. Put more batteries than I'm showing right now. Put like probably double or triple the batteries. Um, I did run into a running out of electricity problem, so more batteries, good. So now is for the reaction wheel time, and yeah, you kind of have to clip a lot of reaction wheels in this thing to get it to work well. Um, you can, it, it, it's it's doable without all these reaction wheels. It's just way easier with reaction wheels. You'll you'll see when you're flying it. It is totally worth it I think um, even though you do have to clip all the reaction wheels in there Anyway, if you want to duplicate a part make sure you hit alt and then left click uh, will uh, Duplicate a part a lot of alt left click isn't there so now it's time to start construction of the flaps We're gonna start with the bottom flaps the flaps are really quite difficult in my opinion. They're annoying to do it I, I, I don't like them, but uh, we're gonna get the the big alligator hinge You want the biggest one just so they can stay you know attached rigidly I guess and then you know, flop around, and then you want to just kind of deploy them so you have a nice lot of nice room to work with, and you know, um, covering, stopping fairing expansion or like fairing expansion off is your friend, big friend, or else everything will look like a mess. So uh, I'm gonna use just the the uh, these two pieces to do the bottom flap, which I believe is a structural wing type A and B. I don't exactly remember which one it is. Part I can't really see the, the little view I'm looking at is like one quarter resolution, so I can't really see the part. But uh, well, I can see the part, but I can't see the name of it. But just use those. Those are bottom fins. The bottom fins are super easy to do. Um, even the top fins are all—they're a pretty basic shape. Um, but uh, we uh, we do have to make it a little more complicated. Make sure you have the the symmetry mode to not that. You want it to mirror, um, just so the flaps actually will deploy in the same direction and not look weird and dumb. So that is that. 
Um, and you want to make sure the flaps are slightly spaced out, or flaps or fins that the, the Elon are on, right? You want to make sure they're slightly spaced out from the actual side of the Starship because there's a little piece of uh, piece of like metal stuff that like holds them there. So that's where the pist where the actuators are in real life. Um, so yeah, make sure you have a little bit of gap, and just whatever gap is good for you. And then just uh, set the angle limit like that, and then there we go. That's the bottom flaps, and then we can get ready to do the top flaps in just a second. I'd like to quickly do the plugs. If you are enjoying the video, things a good tutorial. Looking to go ahead and smash the subscribe button. You can join our Discord. You can uh, comment. You can like. You can join my Patreon. You can become a member. You can uh, well, I have a Patreon now. That's kind of a new development. But who, uh, get back to the stream. Just you know, I have stream video. I've been streaming too much lately, haven't I? Uh, I try to quickly get those aside. Um, so thank you guys, everyone who does. Hugely appreciate you guys. You're amazing. So. Top fins. Um, top fins, you want to just get the same hinge and just basically do the same thing as the bottom fins. Uh, make sure they uh, both deploy in the same direction. It'll make your life easier. So the, just you know, there's times where you can the the fin the the, the uh, alligator hinge may be rotated 180 degrees, and then it'll just kind of be a mess. They will get work. So make sure they're rotated in the same angle. And now for the top fins, I'm just going to get a um, a, del a small delta wing, and then just that little piece there to do our top fin. Uh, it is quite easy. Um, both fins are designed pretty easy, but it gets a little more complicated in just a minute or two when we start to add structural panels. Yay, structural panels, everyone's favorite. Structural panels, yay! Um, yeah, so, uh, this design, uh, is not, is not, I want, full disclaimer, this is not an, a completely original design. Um, it incorporates elements from a lot of different people. Um, Mainly, his name is uh, SpaceX Gamer or Black Shadow on my Discord. Um, I don't know. I think. Uh, oh, by the way, make sure your uh, your bottom your top fins do not actually clip into when they're fully deployed. You don't want them to kind of at any point clip into the actual main uh, nose cone because I think that looks bad. So, uh, generally speaking, yeah, don't do that. Um, and then you want to just make sure you get the, the little little actuator part and not actuator part. But you want to get some structural panels. Uh, recolor them to the the whitey color looking thing. And then you want to just kind of get them lined up with the uh, with the top flap um, and these obviously don't move it's just the, the actual flat part and then you want to get a nice little the triangle piece and then you want to make sure you just get them all nice and lined up and like i was saying um you can just watch you know i have finnick around raise and lower the thing but uh black shadow did a lot of work here um a lot a lot of a lot of inspired by him i made a few changes i don't know maybe improvements and i think his may also have taken some inspiration from gameplay review uh uk um, i'm not actually sure i don't know who to credit credit everyone right i don't know who came up with the ideas for some of these designs first but i'm just i'm just putting them all together in one video and adding some of my own and i don't know i think this looks i think this is a pretty pretty good starship i'm pretty happy with how it came out so there you go just gonna you may have to finick around with the uh, the front flaps a little bit but eventually get them to work and then it is going to be time uh, to just finish up there and then it's going to be uh, time to cover uh, the entire flaps with structural panels uh, that is good that is uh, <clears throat> one of the bigger one of the bigger changes uh, from my old starship my old starship i was the fins were literally just structural panels um, it kind of looked dumb and the ship was basically black it didn't look right right so we're going to cover the uh, aerodynamic surfaces with um with the with these flaps uh, with the structural panels actually and it look it looks really good it does look really good uh, the top flaps are pretty easy to cover them up and then the bo the bottom ones actually require, look it's kind of it's kind of janky but you can get it to work uh, actually not perfectly but you can get it to work um, and and my old stars are probably structural panels as the um, like I said, as the as the as the Elanorans, right? Use wings, like totally use wings. You get infinitely more control, and it's actually aerodynamic, and you can actually control which way you go. Like my starship, you basically just flop straight down, and you just go where you go. You have no control over where you land, but not in this one because wings, right? Um, so I'm just gonna speed this part up. Basically, what you have to do for the top fins because the no structural panel really is like the correct angle for those those kind of steep wings like that. So basically, I'm just speeding the up footage up a little bit more, and you just have to just spam, basically, just throw all the structural panels just everywhere, just chuck them on, and then get it as good as you can. You know, my, mine is not the best way of doing it, like, I, I like you could have probably done it with a few less parts, and kind of probably got a little more full, but basically, just, just chuck them all on, and that's why I'm not really going too much, I'm not really, that's why I'm speeding it up, so, because I'm just, just spamming a bunch of structural panels there, and it'll look good, it'll look fine, eventually. Um, the top tip uh, is not going to be able to be filled, because literally, no structural panel is that small basically to, to fit in that angle so unfortunately there is that little gap at the top if anyone knows what to do about that you could, uh, could uh, hit me up in the comments section or dm me on discord or anything um because i greatly appreciate it i want to make this community effort right get as many people maybe we'll make a v3 if, if a bunch of people give me some better designs and stuff i don't know maybe who knows so going to now um 
going to now uh, just do the little uh, extended piece. I don't even know what to call this thing, the little piece that, you know what I mean, you know what this is. Um, and then just gonna go ahead and just fill those up with, uh, with structural panels. And then that is gonna be most of the starship actually complete after that. We're just gonna have to have a few more little housekeeping items. There's actually one very important part. This was this was a hugely amazing thing taught to me by Black Shadow. That is, it's a genius way of doing starship. So uh, if he's the original one who came up with this, huge genius, man, it's genius. So. Uh, you'll see you see me in just a minute to what, what I'm talking about. So I'm uh, just going to be finishing up this little bit and then a triangle piece at the top after. And then just got to fill in the bottom uh, with structural panels, right? Because we love structural panels and yay structural panels. The part count can get pretty high this with this, uh, especially the full stack when you add the grid fins or the super heavy. So you probably want a pretty... You could do... Well, I'll talk about when we get to the super heavy. So we're going to actually go to the space plane hangar now. And we are going to grab, uh, I, I assume you don't even need the space plate hanger for this, but I just found it easier. Um, you just grab the entire thing. What we're actually doing, I'm going to drop this down to one time speed because this is, this is very important. You're going to grab a, a fuel tank here. I'm going to put it on the top. I'm going to enable the center of mass. Uh, and uh, we're going to drain the two main fuel tanks, actually. First, I forgot about that. So drain those, center of mass, center of lift. And then what you want to do is you want to move that fuel tank so the center of mass uh, is ever so slightly behind the center lift. It may change as soon as you move the, let go of the move tool, but just like that, and you can see it moved, but just leave it right there. You need that. That is what, that's like our, our header tank, basically. So what you wanna do uh, with that is you want to um, disable fuel. <coughs> Make sure you reload the space mining your version of it. Um, what you wanna do uh, is you wanna first of all get some drain valves uh, onto the two main fuel tanks. So what, what, what's, what, what the way this is gonna work uh, is you want to have uh, the, the that like header tank we'll call it. Um, you want you want the fuel disabled on that. So you want to hit the little X's thingies and set up an action group so that the things drain. Um, you want so you don't want you don't want the engines to be pulling any fuel. Um, out of that header tank during the main flight and you can see i'm just turning it off right there and then what you want to do is when you're ready to start your belly flop and descent you just want to make sure that fuel tank has enough fuel to uh to land with you want to um you want to uh, hit the action that you set up to drain you want to drain all of the excess fuel out of the main two fuel tanks and then you want to also by the way i'm setting up action groups now for the fins i'll actually talk about this pretty quick here so i'm just locking them just for the launch um and you can set action groups unlock them and i'm going to just look at what I'm doing right there to set up a uh, pitch so they can control our pitch. And then you want to go the other way. You see the arrow I just clicked to turn it white. You want to do the other way around. That's a mistake. Do it the other way around. Jeez, there's a lot of talk about it. I'm really struggling to keep up with this. There's a lot of crap happening in the tutorial. Okay, and then you want to set the ones to lock. And then basically, we're talking about the header tank, uh, is you want to make sure it's off. And then when you drain the fuel, you want to, uh, once all the fuel is drained, you want to turn the header tank back on so the fuel is draining from the header tank for the landing burn. What that means is you'll have a predictable center of mass and center of lift, which means your belly flop will just work infinitely better. Um, because, you know, depending on what, how you came in, what angle you came in, like the fuel load you came in with, uh, if you didn't do that, the thing could like be unbalanced and it could either flop backwards or flop forward or, you know. So it's amazing, genius idea. That's that, landing legs time. Put some landing legs on, you probably want those. Uh, pretty simple if you just put the main ones. You can do something more complicated with uh, uh, with pistons and stuff, but these work, these work fine. So, okay, so that is uh, that is basically Starship completed. Um, and this is a Starship and Super Heavy tutorial, so before we launch everything, we're going to be uh, making our Super Heavy. So, I feel like I'm actually finally starting to catch up with what's going on here. I don't think I missed anything, I hope not. Um, I, I do hope I didn't miss anything. You can go back and like watch back. I'll have the craft file in the description if you, if you want to uh, check it out. So, let's get into a five meter fairing for the Super Heavy. Gonna get a decoupler and then we wanna uh, center the Center the fairing around the Super Heavy and fairing expansion off. Also, you know, like I said, your friend. So, like I said, I make my starships around 30 meters in uh, height. So, uh, Super Heavy, as you know, is uh, ever so slightly taller than Starship. So, I generally like to make sure the full stack is around 65 meters tall. So, that means uh, the Starship has 30 meters and Super Heavy is around 35 meters uh, in, in height. So... Uh, Super Heavy, the diff most difficult part of Super Heavy, which actually is going to take a large chunk of this video, is actually uh, the grid fins. Uh, you can do not very complicated grid fins, or you can do really complicated grid fins, just like I did in this, in this video. Um, the choice is yours. Um, it, it really depends on what you want to do. Um, I'll talk a little more about the grid fins when we get to the grid fins. Um, but so now we're going to go ahead and make sure we have a probe core in the... So we're getting a few uh, reaction wheels. You don't really need the reaction wheels. Uh, that much because Super Heavy is so big, uh, reaction wheels don't really do anything unless you clip so many. You don't even you don't need them to do something really. It just it just falls straight back down. Super Heavy. So I'm gonna go ahead and put as many fuel tanks as possible in the Super Heavy. It needs a lot of fuel. Super Heavy. Uh, it it is deceivingly 
sm small, not small, but it, it, it doesn't, it has a deceivingly small amount of delta v. So now I'm going to go ahead and put eight vectors around the bottom. Then we're going to put three more vectors on the middle of the engine, a thing just in, just in a second. Uh, this is not a realistic number of engines. The vectors are a little bit too big actually for uh, Super Heavy, but vectors are really the only way to go because they're really only the only engine with enough uh, efficiency and gimbal and all that stuff. Um, to be able to, um, to, con to to get what you need to do. So back, unless you, unless someone has some sort of wizardry, and we use vests, we and use skippers or whatever. I don't know. It's, vectors are totally the way to go, in my opinion. And then I, I would recommend setting the gimbal limit on the vectors to uh, 50, just so it's easier to the control. The thing isn't all flying all over the place. You know, gimbal can gimbal can get a little crazy with vectors. So uh, now make sure you turn the gimbal down on the wolfhounds because the real uh, Raptor vacuums do not gimbal, and then you want to set up a action group to toggle those. So many action groups, there's literally like eight of the nine, or nine of the ten, eight, eight, nine, eight or nine of the ten, and I've just been pinged on Discord, what's pinging me? Oh my gosh, um, eight or, the, eight, eight, eight or nine of the ten action group possible are total, are, are filled with stuff, so it's actually challenging to even remember what does what, to be honest. Um, I'm gonna put some landing legs down, I don't know how this actual super heavy is gonna work, Elon, he's been saying a lot of stuff about catching it and stuff, we are to this is not a tutorial on how to catch super heavy, this, this video would be like three hours long. And I would have had to work on that for like 20 hours trying to catch it. But so we're just gonna do the fin thing just to land. Grid fin time. So going to get a little, a uh, little uh, actuator thing. You can put a servo if you actually want the grid fins to work, actually like, t turn and stuff. But I've, I've found that the grid fins don't really provide any really aerodynamic. They don't really do stuff aerodynamically. You can't really control yourself with them. So I just decided to meh. Nah, not d one less complexity, right? So uh, I am speeding up the footage, like I said, a little bit. Not like I said, but just a little bit more to make our grid fins. This is a fairly complicated grid fin design. It's hard to really say what I'm doing. You just kind of have to watch what I'm doing, right? Um, yeah. So if you want to do more simple grid fin design, you can do something where you just. Like, you can just have, like, a square and then just put a bunch of struts or you don't even need just anything in the middle of it. Just, you need a lot of drag. Do not use cubic octagonal struts because they do not produce any drag and you will come in at, like, 800 meters a second. Uh, you, these grid fins actually do a lot to slow you down, so they are, they are pretty important. You can, you can do a design where you just, you can even use air brakes if you want. Uh, but I think these grid fins did come out really, really well, uh, at least in my opinion, so, um... Gen I, I, if you if you if you can follow along with the grid fins, I I, I think it's probably best because um, I'm happy with how they came out. They are a slightly high part count too, though. So if you want to conserve part count, also probably don't do these because these are like like 30, 40 parts each, and there's four of them, and yeah, it really it really does not help with the part count. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, get the uh, starting the little X, the grid actually part of it. It's it's you know that's the grid fins, right? Grid fins. Oh boy, so it's actually starting to slow, calm down for a second. I'm trying to think, anything I, I forgot to talk about? I don't know, I hope not, that'd be sad. This is, there's a lot of stuff to get through in this tutorial. I could feel like I could do like five separate tutorials uh, um, about all the different parts. Like I, I could probably do a dedicated tutorial on the flaps of the Starship. I could do a dedicated tutorial on how to fly it. I could do a dedicated tutorial on the grid fins. I could do a dedicated tutorial on so much, and I'm actually surprised it said dedicated uh, correctly without like saying dedicated or something like that. <laughs> um, wow. So, uh, yeah, that's that. Um, so if you if you actually something that interested in where I can actually go slower and actually talk a little more in depth about all these different things, I feel like I'm kind of skimming through a lot of important things just in the, for the sake of time, right? Um, uh, do let me know in the comment section if you think that'd be something you'd like. Um, and so basically, we have the, the grid X design like that. And what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to just uh, duplicate. Uh, you'll see it in just a second. I do I duplicate the uh, one design, and then you can just remove that that other side. That side is actually just like a reference. Uh, and then what you do is you just get the rotate tool and you just move them in place and it actually it like magically just comes together and looks amazing all of a sudden you'll see it's like oh it looks kind of weird 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 omg what's what is this gonna look like it's gonna be all ugly and then you just move it and it's like boom grid fins so i'm pretty yeah, i'm pretty happy about that so <laughs> I, i'm quite happy about those grid fins i don't know rate mine grid fins and then you want to set up an action group for uh, for the grid fins probably um to, uh, to be able to lock them. I don't remember if I do that right now or in a, in a second or two, but that's pretty important. I'm gonna put some vernier engines just so it has some RCS control to help it with the flip around maneuver before it does its boost back burn. There I do in the, the action groups um, for the uh, for the grid fins um, and then turning on the traverse rate. Also, oh, big thing I forgot to mention with the flaps. Big thing I forgot to mention with the flaps. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I forgot about this. You want to have the flaps, you want to turn off damping on the flaps for a Starship. No damping, it will break everything if you have damping on. Not really, but uh, like damping off, totally off, damping, damping, damping off. Let's launch. 
Can't believe I forgot about that. I knew I forgot about something. Okay, go. Turn off damping. Let's launch. So, whew. Um, I also turned the reverse rate to 45 on the fins. The, the reason you turn damping on is if you have damping on the, during the belly flop, the fins will actually like kind of move away from their target angle. What I've found happen is they actually kind of like self fold in because the, the air is pushing on them and damping will let that happen, let them fold up. And then I've seen my stairs was coming at like 200 meters a second when normally they come in at like 100 if you have damping on. So that's important if you want like a controlled belly flop that doesn't come in at like Mach 5. So do a quick save right now to separate the Super Heavy F5. Do a quick save. You want to save around 600 meters a second. Uh, when, you, when, when you're burning Super Heavy and Starship together, when you see this is Super Heavy has around 600 meters a second left, you want to stage it away, and then you know have, that'll give you around 1,500 meters a second to do boost back burn and landing with. So do the boost back burn. Um, you get to take some trial error to see what kind of a good boost back burn is. So um, and I said this is unmodded, um, but if you have Kerbal Engineer, around 180 meters a second. Uh, horizontal velocity towards the KSC is generally what I did, but you don't need mod, obviously. This is fully stock. The craft is fully stock. Don't use Kerbal Engineer because fully stock. Well, I, I'm not. I'm totally not. I kind of am, but the craft is stock. That's what I mean by fully stock in the title. So, FYI. So, coming in, now it's time to get ready to relight. And actually, something crazy is we actually pull more Gs through aerodynamic deceleration with the grid fins than we do uh, burning the engine, which is kind of crazy. So, you're going to relight the engines at around 3.8 kilometers. I'm going to throttle them up slowly. I hit active group 8. Uh, was something I set up earlier where I'm only burning the center three engines um, of the of the Super Heavy. You can burn them all if you want, but I had a little I had the Delta V to do the just the center three, and we can come in for a nice landing. I've heard a lot of people say, oh, they only like the center engines, or you know, they don't use all the engines. So hey, we're not using all the engines. As we get nice and long and hit the radial out button, um, just so the thing is staying straight right up and down, and touchdown. So. And there's that decoupler that looks kind of weird on the top. You can make that a stack separator and it'll go away. So, um, yeah. So that's super heavy down. And now we can get Starship into orbit. And we can get ready to show, which is the thing I am most proud of from this video. Like the Starship, honestly. The, the, so, oh, by the way. So Starship initially lights all six engines once you um, once you separate. And then you want to uh, use action groups to shut down these sea level engines one by one as you get higher. So I, set, I turned off the one sea level pr pretty much right after. Um, not that, let me, 20 seconds after I initially lit all sick after stage separation and then I believe I cut the second one when I crossed a thousand meters a second and the third one when I crossed 30 or 40 kilometers so either way that's how that works and it's burning we're now just on vacuum power or and then we're gonna get into orbit and then we're gonna go ahead and what I'm what I'm most proud of the coolest part I think and I would I might even post this to reddit maybe maybe I'll get on trending uh, you don't trend on reddit I get you get hot posts or whatever so um, Let's get, so we're deorbiting, right? And this is the belly flop onto the onto the uh, vehicle assembly building helipads, right? So what you want to do is you want to drain the fuel. You want to uh, enable the header tanks. Make sure you enable them or else your engines won't get any fuel. You're going to want to turn off the vacuum engines, uh, turn on the flaps, and then turn on the sea level engine. I only turned one sea level engine on um, because I wanted to do a cool startup procedure of this, not startup, but I wanted to start the engines up one by one. Um, like um, when you come, like if you, if you watch the Starship hops, you see the engines, they don't all relight right away. It's like one, two, three. They all relight in sequence. So I wanted to recreate that. So um, you can obviously uh, turn on all three sea levels if you want. So we're belly flopping, right? This Starship has a lot of aerodynamic control. So as you can see, we're kind of over the water now. That's kind of where our trajectory put us. So we're going to actually try and uh, fly this thing almost like a plane uh, back towards the, to the KSC. And you can see here, we actually, if you watch our altitude, we actually climb for a little bit. Um, which is kind of crazy. So now we're we're coming in really slow now. We're basically trying to get ourselves positioned right by the vehicle assembly building as we descend the craft down. Just trying to keep it a little bit away because we know uh, we're going to have to do the flip maneuver, which is going to push us a little bit towards the VAP. Coming down, coming down, coming down, dropping it down to one time speed, and I'm going to relight right about... Now one engine, two engine, three engine. There's the flip maneuver. I like As soon as you do the flip, I like to drop down to two engines. Um, use action groups and then throttle the thing down to two thirds because the real starship will light three and then it will actually land on two. I think that's the most uh, recent uh, confirmation by Elon. So then it's just going to matter of flying it down nice and perfectly towards the helipads. Doing small adjustments at this point. You don't want to do anything too crazy or else you'll kind of start to lose control. Go ahead and drop the landing legs. It's that burning two engines as we come over the helipad. Last a few seconds of flight. Just got to get it perfect. And touchdown so that is starship down and that is our tutorial completed sorry if that was a little fast 
Um, and things went fast. I really felt like I was talking really fast during that thing. Uh, it, let me know, like I said, if you would like those more in-depth tutorials. So I'm going to show a picture of the members on screen. Huge thank you to you guys. That's going to bring us to the end of today's video. I'd like to thank you for watching. What's the next time? Please rate or comment to this video once again. Thank you for watching. What's the next time? And bye!